Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. In the last episode, we talked about how to rename an existing level. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how to create a new level in your project file. On the Architecture tab, on the Datum panel, you have an option of creating levels. This option is not valid when you are working in a floor plan view because level lines can only be created in either elevations or sections. The keyboard shortcut to levels is LL. In the options bar here, you have a choice whether you want to create a plan view for this level or not. And if you want to create a plan view, what type of plan views you would like to create? Let's select only the floor plan view for this level. Creating a level is as simple as creating a straight line. You have a start point and you have an end point. We created this level. A corresponding floor plan was also created with it. When you select a level line, a circle symbol appears at the start and the end point. Using the circle, you can drag the extents of this level line and bring it to an alignment with the other existing levels. The software will automatically lock this alignment. It means that when you're going to drag one level line, all the level lines aligned and locked to this particular level line are also going to be stretched along with it. Let's try this here. Let's drag the extents of this level line and drop them to the alignment with existing level lines. They are locked automatically. So when I'm going to stretch one level, all the levels connected to it are also going to be stretched. If you don't want this behavior, you can unlock this level line and then move it. When you bring this level line back to the alignment, the software will again automatically lock it. When you're creating a level, you also have an option of picking the lines. You can use this option to create a level line with an offset. For example, if I want to create a level at 3000 millimeters offset from this ground floor, I would choose pick lines, give an offset and approach this level line from the bottom. Click here and you will see that we have a new level created at an offset of 3000 millimeters. We can select this level line and rename it. Before we move on to the next topic of learning about how to use copy and array tools to create levels, let's do a small exercise. You may pause this video at this point and try to follow these steps to create a new level in your project file. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next.